Hi, this is Nell with Joyous Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to propagate succulents. Succulents are really easy to propagate. I just look at the plant and see how I want it to grow, and then I take the cutting off of that accordingly, and then I will cut the, the stem, or if, if I wanted this to be two, I would do it in two in two stems instead of one stem there so you would get two plants out of that and what you want it to do is do it at an angle I, I do my cuttings at an angle and then you would let it heal over and by healing over it means like a scab you let it heal so it's um it's impervious to like any air coming in because succulents hold a lot of water in here the stems are very wet so that's why you want it to heal off and I let mine heal off anywhere from three weeks to three months, or I've, I've had some in a box for six months that have been healing off and they're still looking fine. And then when I go to plant them, I keep them dry for about a week or so. So that way the plant is dry and the soil is dry and then I'll give it some water after then. The title of this is Propagating Succulents to Clone Them. And how I interpret it is propagating the succulent which in this case it's a crizula. And then I have planted some more over there. So it's like a clone of the plant. I'm not a scientist in some mad lab inventing a new plant, but it's just this plant in a couple years, the plant over there is gonna be identical to its mother plant. So that's how I propagate to clone. This is an echeveria leaf which fell off and it just fell off into the soil and it put out roots and as you can see there's a new little plant growing there actually actually there's two of them so you can also propagate off a leaf cutting this is Nell with joyous garden and i've just shown you how easy it is to propagate succulents